Uh, for this big match, the Sri Lanka-India final test match, the decider in the Coca-Cola Test Series. This is day two, boy, and what a day day one was. Uh, what a day we've got in store for us today. There'll be all sorts of anticipation around, right across India and, of course, across this country as well. We really are looking forward to what is going to be a special day. Now then, let's have a look at uh, the match summary. That's uh, what happened yesterday. There we go. 234 India made and uh, of course they would have been expecting to score 350 at one stage. A good start there by Dyson Damesh. They did their stuff, uh, put on almost 100 and then of course uh, as you saw in our introduction with Thaya Murali didn't. Started to cause all sorts of problems and uh, boy when he gets going he does get going. Well day two, it's dried out just a little bit. What happened yesterday? Morley, really dominant figure. As Navjot would say, he spun it like a top. What can Habijan do? Well, if you're a right-hander, there's a couple of little areas that he can work with, just about there, and here for the left-handers. Bear in mind, though, that India have two world-class spinners, and how they perform against the Sri Lankan top order is going to have a big bearing on this test match. Fourteen runs doing the buck of the scoring. That was four more. So this over a little bit wayward. Things are here. This was pointed out by Ranjan Madagali. Jasuria able to score on both sides of the pitch. That's where Jayasuriya normally plays it when he plays on the leg side. Very fine because he gets his right foot right across the track. Most left-handers would let it come onto the hips and hit it square. But see how fine he hits it. That's because he gets his right foot way across. So he just gets a tickle. It was the candy dismissal. That's nicely played by Atapatu. We get at least two here. He's pressing for three. He wants it. Throws on its way, but he's got in fairly comfortably. Good cricket all round by the Sri Lankan batsman. Didn't ball pitched up. See that lovely flow of the bat. Hit it through the line and played it straight. And no sooner he hit it, lovely elbow there. He was off. He was off. He knew there was three in it. Ran aggressively from the very first run itself and made that third run quite comfortably in the end. Good batting. Good stroke. It's not a stroke that you see too often from Zanajasa. He really tends to turn it behind square off his pads, but he's got that wider mid on. Three more. Good shot, Robin. Very correctly said. That's not the area Jayasuriya usually likes to play it on the leg side. There you see him playing with a straighter face and then turning the wrist at the last moment, getting it into the mid on region. do with dismissals oh. Oh, yes. straight away turn and bounce that's a good first ball and look at the bounce look at the bounce that Harbhajan gets this is what Murali was talking about the bounce which is as important as the turn That'll beat the backward point. Might just run away for four. It's very quick down there. Oh, it's well fielded. Zahir Khan angling it outside the off stump. Atapattu playing it late. Turning the bat face at the last minute. Gliding it away. Good shot there. Can you see how well he plays it? and how positively he plays it and he gets two runs for it back and across and plays it late the key is playing late oh good stroke beautiful stroke a little bit low on the back maybe so he's only going to get a couple 
That's Very well up. balanced when he played it. This one into his leg stumps. Atapattu playing it and just at the last moment turning the wrist, getting the gap. Didn't try to hit it too hard. Just looked for placement. Watched the ball all the way onto the bat. So two good shots from the Sri Lankan opener. More runs, more bat on this one, that'll run away for four, mid on not even bothering. Good stroke. Good shot, and this occasion, a similar one with a little more power. And gets four runs for his efforts. Just look at the head, how still it is. Last minute, a turn of the wrist, little more power than the previous one, and races away to the boundary line. Very good shot from Marvan Atapattu. Oh, it nearly wriggled through his legs. Back onto the stamps. 43 for no wicket. Eight runs coming off that Zahir Khan over. That's a good one. Atapattu just getting an inside edge, but he had everything covered. His foot was there. You could see the ball angling into his stamps, but Atapattu gets his right pad and stops it. Oh, they've asked the question. There was a bit of noise, a very, a bit of batty noise there. Uh, it seemed to be just a little bit delayed. Jaya Surya just smiles and looks back down the pitch. Let's have a look to see if there was anything here. Watch his foot. On to, oh, I've got to tell you, that's a good appeal. Now then, can you refer that? Are you allowed to refer that one? I think that's out. There's no doubt whatsoever in my mind that ball ricocheted off the toe did not hit the ground well that's i personally feel that's out oh, oh man. very difficult one isn't it uh, it was interesting the umpire said not out straight away uh, obviously one of the things that you've uh, got to bear in mind if he's in any doubt he's got to say not out but watch this straight onto the top of the toe no touching the ground there up she goes a reaction straight away from the keeper and silly point Jaya Sur oh this is in the air and just short of backward point well, he's living dangerously. He certainly is. So, a real incident here. Uh, an incredibly difficult situation. Now, I don't know about you, but I really, as each day goes by, I get more out of that. The, ma the third umpire should be able to reverse decisions. Now, if this is out, it could be the difference in winning and losing this test match. And as we, as we can see, that is out, but impossible for the referee, for the, for the umpire. I think... He gave a benefit of the doubt decision there, and I think that's fair enough. But if we really are serious about getting these things right, refer it upstairs and change the decision. 44 for none. That's where I think technology should step in. <laughs> swing on the leg side on that occasion, Venkatesh Prasad, moving swing, can't really afford to bowl outside leg stump to Sanachaya Surya there's no real cushion for the bowler over there just whips it away that occasion no real problem that's why he's such a dangerous player he's, he's got a certain degree of arrogance in the way he bats capable of uh, scoring those runs at a very brisk pace whenever he's at the crease the pressure is on the opposition there's no doubt Big wicket that is for Venkatesh Prasad playing on to the stumps. Sanajaya Surya really departs in a similar fashion. He went in that fashion in Kandy. The bowler was a hair Khan on this occasion. The look really tells you all, horrified the public over there. And there is jubilation time for the Indian camp. Plays it on. A big wicket for the Indians. Huge wicket, uh, and once again, Sanajaya Saria getting uh, out uh, by dragging the ball back onto the stumps. And uh, I really think that the uh, face on that uh, character told the story. And you can see he's not, not very happy when he gets out, but what a wicket. So, Sanajaya Saria at the 30, and 
It's 48 for one. Tonga Kaira is the new batsman, a good player too. Uh, they're persisting with him at number three. Uh, that's understandable today. It's when he's had a long time uh, keeping wickets that sometimes uh, you might be feeling the, the pressure a little bit or the tiredness, the weariness associated with keeping. However, he's done pretty well in this uh, position. He's already scored 100 in the series and uh, a batting average of uh, 37. But I'd always have a wicketkeeper batting at number four or five uh, because if you're fielding and had a long day in the field, it's always very difficult for the keeper to really come in if an early wicket falls and bat on. Definitely needs a break. Now, this is the big wicket. Sanat Jaya Surya departs in similar fashion, playing that one onto the stumps. Prasad, how delighted he is. He's always looked a different bowler when Sanat Jaya Surya is not around to torment him. He's come back very strong. He's had his vengeance over here. Hold him. Pretty ordinary shot, mind you. I don't. Uh, I didn't see any movement in that delivery. It was as straight as a die. He's uh, he, his back seemed to be coming down at a strange angle. Just a little bit, uh, just a little bit wrong there. Something was wrong and dragging it back onto the stumps. And I think when he sees that replay, Jai Surya, he'll be uh, well. He'll be upset. He didn't take advantage of the little bit of a break that he had. He was obviously out caught of his toe. So. As far as I'm concerned, that phrase of swings and roundabouts comes, to, comes into play here. It's always one of those players who's played with the angle bat. He's not a great driver of the ball. Looks to play square of the wicket, Sanat Surya. That's the end of the over. 48 for one. Sanat Surya, on the other hand, is one guy who's capable of turning the game around any time. He bats there for about two hours. He's sure that he's going to get a quick 5.50 could really change the course of a game. He's given uh, not out. I felt he was certainly out, but then Saad making amends and uh, really coming back very strongly. Yes, just having a, a little look at the, uh, the laws of the game of cricket, uh, law 2-3. Um, and that brings up the 50. And uh, plenty of cheers around the ground. Every run in this test match, I tell you, is going to be absolutely vital. It's uh, 0.23 in the laws of cricket. Should the bowler's end umpire be unable to decide whether or not a catch was taken cleanly, he consults with his mate at square leg. That's the first thing he does. That one all the way on the ground. And uh, then, of course, he's allowed to go to the third umpire for a TV replay. So the, the, the key word there, I'm going to ask you the question now, Jot, uh, what your thoughts are. Well, that's through the strips. It wasn't a catch. It uh, was thought and it, went, it was short and it went uh, down to the boundary for four. And we're going to have another look at that. A uh, little bit streaky. In fact, that's the end of the over. We'll come back and talk about that in a minute. It's 62 for one. When you get rid of Jay Surya, you always believe you have a chance. He's that one player who has the ability to take the game by the... by the... Uh, throat and uh, really make the opposition pay he's got to fulfill the role that uh, Vice had yesterday the same combination block the runs and attack uh, with Habajan that'll be four no third man that's the second time he's got it away in that area Sangakara Frustration for uh, Sarav Ganguly and for Prasad. It's a pretty good delivery, this. And Sangakara again managing to squeeze it through the gap in the gully. Not a lot of bounce for Prasad. See the ball going straight to ground. He's got that away. There's no gully. That will find the boundary. No mind, no mind, but yeah. Just waited on it a little while longer, Sangakara. There's a pretty good shot, but very hard to understand when you're bowling over the wicket to a left-hander, which means it's going to spin and bounce away from him, and a lot of balls are going to go in that area. No gully. We saw Badani get caught in the gully of Murali. This would have been a mighty tough one because he hit it well, but gully is vital. Well, it's coming now. Misunderstanding. Oh, yes, yes. Chance of a run out. The throw isn't good. Atapadu is back. A golden opportunity goes a begging. Well, shocking running between the wickets here. 
This is Sangakara's call. You yeah. see there, angling off. He sets off like that, and he says no. So it was Sangakara's fault, and the Indians have made a hash of it. Just a de half decent throw to Habajan, and he was gone. Oh, one ball there, Harbhajan. Seventy-five for one. Lovely shot. That's elegance personified. Boundary for Atapadu. This is just a classic. Marvin Atapadu at his best. Look at that. You cannot play the shot better than that. Little check drive, keeping the full face. He knows exactly where he wants to hit it between the two fielders. That's perfection. Let's fail. Four more. Thank you, Tej Prasad, the culprit on that occasion. I really wonder a man who's uh, bowling, who's got a field in the covers. I'm not sure Sarov has got that one right. Again, just a little bit slow, giving Sangakoro, who's a good player off the back foot, plenty of time to get rocked back. And Prasad. Well, it wasn't a great attempt. You see here, Sangakara likes to give himself a little bit of room by going a long way back. Timed it to perfection. And Prasad helped him as well. Oh, stamping this. Well, in his first over, the leg spinner should have taken a wicket. But Dige got it wrong. Dige got it wrong. Sangakara got it wrong. Bahutule extremely unlucky not to have got a wicket here. Did everything right. Just came down the track, played down the wrong line. Dige just not good enough to collect it. A lucky reprieve for Kumar Sangakkara, just on the stroke of lunch. And that's something he'll have to work on. He was out close to lunch in Kandy as well. That's a good strike. Pretty well fielded or half fielded. You got a couple there. Harbhajan certainly saving a certain four there, taking the pace off the ball in the slot for Sangakkara to drive. He's very strong and good in this area. Look at that. Lovely shot. And Harbhajan gets his left hand or his fingertips to the stopping a certain four. Oh, now he was lucky. He had some feet in the way there. Bottom edge, that was on its way to the stumps, no doubt about it. Now, this is casual. Now, the, having a chat with the umpire and just pulling out has uh, upset his concentration more than the bowlers. That's casual. Not really bending the left leg when he was looking to pull. Khan, not the most successful of the seamers in terms of... Uh, the figure shown there, but here's a case of captain trusting his bowler. Oh, that's a beautiful stroke. Beautifully played. And what we'll find here when we have another look at it is how late he played it. And that's critical. Yes, this was up there in the slot, but it's been put away in emphatic fashion. That brings up the 50-run partnership. The weight going into the shot. Nice still head. Got low. With that uh, left knee of his, good placement. And that's what the Sri Lankans can do. They're good at putting the bad ball away. More runs. Certainly three. Make that four. So that's back-to-back -back boundaries. Now, two tremendous shots. The first one was a good one, but I think this one's, uh, for me, even better because he's controlled it well. He just checked the shot, just got the placement. And the timing was good enough for him to get consecutive boundaries. So two deliveries, just fractionally off line and length, and uh, they've been punished. Good shot. Beautiful shot. He's out here. 
proving a little expensive for India. Well, he's batting well against Zahir Khan. He's climbing into the drives nicely. Again, good balance. That initial movement of his uh, gets him into a good position, gets him into line, and uh, just stroking it through the offside. Might get four here. Very fast this outfield, particularly behind square. Good stroke. So that's what I mean. Just uh, bowling that line just outside the off stump, and then if he drops it uh, even fractionally short, there's enough time for the batsman. He's played that well. He's given himself a little bit of room. See, so just pitched outside the off stump, and uh, Atapatu backing away and having the time to place it. It's not all that short. That's in the gap and four. So strong in that area, Sanglakara. Either a front or back foot. And you can see this takes the pressure now off the batting side. Medium pacer being hit for a boundary. Zahir Khan went for a few. Now Prasad's gone for a few. So he should expect that even if a spinner is bowling. And good point you make there, Robin, was... Uh, that both these bowlers don't need protection. They're specialist bowlers. They can uh, bowl a good line and length and attack at times even at both ends. Edged and taken. Loose shot outside the off stump. Prasad has struck. Badani made it look easy in the slip cotton. And an important wicket goes down here and against the run of play. Well, he'd be furious with himself. I think there was just a little bit of extra bounce here from Prasad. Let's see how high that ball gets. Yeah, just bounced on him a little bit. It's a little bit close to him as well. Simple catch, or made to look very simple. By second slip and the end of another promising innings. How many have we seen in this series? Sankakara 47 and out, and now 119 for two, Sri Lanka. The sun-bleached blue helmet of Mahela Jayawardena. Just over 2,000 runs in test cricket. Still a young man at the age of 24 and averaging 43 in test cricket. Get some big totals. He's 242. It's not the only double hundred that he's scored. He scored that at this ground. Averages 55, so uh, he'll feel pretty good about where he's playing. But every day is different. Now he's here because of this, just not allowed to free his arms on this occasion. Robin Jackman mentioned the extra bounce. That did him too, but that catch was nicely taken. He will be livid with himself. Another 40. Another chance goes a begging. He was missed before lunch. Good use of the feet and worked it through the gap about uh, placing the ball often and that was a very good example of it fine it was a full toss but you still got to have the skill to do it this is also the footwork that has uh, made that shot possible quickly dancing down the track meeting the ball on the full and then again just concentrating on placement not trying to hit it too hard bottom hand coming into play and just uh, working it away on the onside where is well, that's nicely played back with a point they'll get uh, a couple here whereas moodily has introduced a whole new ball game he's very different to almost everybody well, he's definitely brought a new dimension to off-spin bowling and 97 uh, percent of the bowlers i let me put it uh, in the right perspective will use their fingers they're basically finger spinners when it comes to off spinners he's probably the only off spinner that i've seen who uses the wrist on that occasion marvin atapatu playing that very late waiting for that one and chopping it to third man Nice use of the feet, straight to the mid-on fieldsman, and that's nicely played. That takes him to his half-century. Marvin Atapatu has made his eighth half-century in Test match cricket. He's made 600s uh, already, and uh, this has been a very timely innings. He's got to keep going, though, really. That's what's going to make the difference here. And one of these Sri Lankans has got to score a big score. 132 for two.
That one played away off the on down the ground on the offside. Beautifully played. That's lovely timing. Oh, yes. He's uh, hit a few uh, boundaries in this area straight down the ground. Most of his runs have come in this area, and there's a classical off drive. That's technique personified. Full face of the bat. Just timed it to perfection. No real flourish of the bat. Just relied on sheer timing. As straight as a candle. Oh, and that one uh, pulled away down towards square leg. That'll go for four. That's a good shot. Taken off the stumps. It's something that spinners don't like having done to them too often. Swept away by Joe Wadana. He's off the mark. Very low. Joe Wadana on his knees. Totally in control of the situation. Rolls the wrist over. Maybe dispatches that one from his presence with utter disdain. Well, the umpire thinks likewise. Now, this could be very close. Question asked. The umpire certainly doesn't think likewise. Shout for anything and everything these days. Yes, uh, I think it's spun too much, and um, he was trying to play a shot there. Uh, <laughs> he was throwing it up in the air as a, for a catch. I think that was uh, the reaction of the forward short leg. But I think the bowler was and the keeper was talking about LBW. Nicely played, just negotiated back with a square. They only get one. Well, the important thing on uh, the last uh, shot was that he was totally in control of the situation. He was not lunging forward. It's just a short strike forward. So he's, he's been able to work that one away. Now, when you're oh, lunging mate. forward, you're not in a position to work the ball away. Well, that's a lovely shot. Beautiful cover drive again, using his feet nicely. Confident uh, he must be because to get out of your ground to Habajan Singh and to caress him through the covers is very definitely a confident shot. Feet of Quicksilver on that occasion, upsetting the line and length of Harbhajan Singh. Nothing wrong with the delivery, but it's uh, the use of feet that makes that uh, shot look very easy. Smothering the spin on top of the ball, playing against the spin. What a great shot that is. Drill through covers for four. Yes, and uh, just wide of the fieldsman too. That was uh, exquisite placement. And that's what can happen. And that's through again. Delicious. What a great shot that is. Plays it as well as anybody in the world. That's a comment that you should take when the legend says delicious. You've got to look at it so closely. And that's why he says it's such a good shot. Everything right about it. Placement right execution superb just look at the way he flows the bat flows through the line elbow up head over and for good measure gets the gap too and again beautifully into the gap and he's starting to expand Marvin Atapatu that's a lovely shot again by Marvin Atapatu this is where he's been so good and so positive quick use of his feet up to the pitch of the ball negating the spin and hitting it on the offside what a lovely shot just look at that how quickly he moves to it gets the ball right under his nose and into the gap four ball just 13 for Jai Wardner so at the patu well he doesn't only play the drive he plays the cut as well Same result. That's what the use of the feet has done. Harbhajan, not knowing whether Marvan Atapattu would come down the track, drags this ball short, and Atapattu is equally strong on his back foot. Back and across, with his there, and he gets the gap. Positive batting here by Marvan Atapattu. Just look at that. Slight movement onto the front foot. Sees the width, and off he goes. On, Bang for four. And again, they don't have to hurry this time. Go on, go on. And there's overthrows. It's all going wrong for India. Good cricket all around here by the Sri Lankans. Just drops it in front. Off they go on a quick single. Throw, misses the stumps. No one backing up. There's just two fielders on the leg side 
There you go. Just a touch, just a jab, off they go. There he goes, and Avajan. A ring of the hands there. Jai Warden had set himself to really hit this over the top. In fact, got too close to it. Still hit it well. This was going over the top, but it was going too close to him. But look how quickly Marvan Atapattu reacts. Caught by the wicket keeper 16 times and others. There'd be quite a few slip fielders in there. And that's why. But uh, it does produce a lot of runs as well. That's a beauty. Just as we were talking about a slight deficiency in technique, Jawadana disproves all of us. Look at that for a class shot. Just waits on it, plays it very, very late and gets the gap. Look how he watches the ball and late. That's why he's able to get it so fine. Lucky. And that's what a short ball does. 186 for two. That's the last delivery. Short. Jawadana not really getting across, trying to angle it down. Gets the inside edge. Disappointment on the face of Zahir Khan. Good delivery to end the over. Bajan Singh, none for 61, so he'll be disappointed. Now, was there a catch? Now, the reaction of the slip fielders, especially Rahul Dravid, suggested there might have been an edge. Definitely a bottom edge on that one. I think it went uh, top edge, top edge, but it bobbed out, didn't it? It just, uh, it just deflected up a little bit, and that was enough to take it uh, far enough away from the center of his gloves. So uh, that's the second chance that's been missed by Digay. Just let's have another look at this. Let's see if we can pick up. Uh, yeah, big edge, very big edge. Popped straight out. He was just, he was just seemed to me to just be pushing his gloves forward a little bit there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take him it on. This will be close if he hits. Oh, and because uh, that was really played very firmly, and that's gone way down the ground. That'll end up being five. I suspect is going to get there. Yes, it does. A quick single turns into five. That is extremely frustrating for the bowler. He's had one dropped in this over. And uh, another couple of dot balls and then a five. This must be really frustrating. This is adding fuel to the flame if you're about to live. But uh, what's the man at Gully? Shiv Sundar Das was the man standing there, but he was a spectator. Now, he should have been backing up. There's enough time. And uh, a direct hit would have definitely had Jayawardhan out. Yes, there's no doubt that uh, the gully, when you look at the gully, uh, that's, uh, that's the slip there, but watch the gully. He's not moving at all. Standing there, as the throw comes in, he should be backing up. He should be moving across to his right. That's SS Das. So still, he could impart the spin. Very relaxed. And he's got that one away. He will get a couple. So runs coming pretty freely here for the Sri Lankans. The 200 coming up too. And that's the score. 201 for two. This ball's coming in my direction. It's all over. It's way over the top. It's a six. What a beauty. Straight down the ground. Over the top for six. What a way to start this little session. Just after T, I reckon if I'd have taken a few steps to my left, I could have nabbed that one. Have a look at this. Straight down the ground, right off the middle of the bat. Nav Jot, I've never seen you hit one better than that. It's over to you and Robin Jackman. Thank you very much, Tony. Keep going, Sai. What a wonderful tea time interlude that was. Wonderfully well-spoken young man, Kumar Sangakara. And he's drifted that across to off stump and played the penalty beautifully played though this is poor bowling got no cushion no support no protection on the offside especially the point straight down the offside short and wide given the opportunity to Marvin Atapattu really free his arms pick the spot 
played that very late, chopped it. There's no protection, no cushion for the bowler. Poor bowling. Outside edge, but uh, I think more of a guide. We'll see it on the slow motion, just how much intent there was in that stroke. It's brought in three runs. Certainly don't think that was deliberate. Just found the outside edge. He was playing for the turn. The ball went the other way. Absolutely. Dravid, the man at slip, diving desperately to his right. 49. running if he gets in and he has easily and this time some decent backing up 227 for two just tickled his hand up there off the last ball not a great throw just hit the top of his thumb by the looks of things oh nice cricket beautiful cricket leg spin around the wicket got so far inside it he was able to ease it wide a bit off Great improvisation uh, from Mawanata Patu on that occasion. Creative to the core. Makes room. Leg spinner bowling round the wicket. Trying to hit the rough. He's jumped out, made room for himself. Satu Patu goes to a class century. His seventh in Test cricket, his second against India, and his fifth on home turf. And what a stroke! Much happening for them. Fifty. What good cricket! Two thirty-three for two. got past the infield and this time does go for four Dani can only just collect it so once again the length was the problem well, the first faults are theirs who commit them the second who permit them once again not learning from his mistakes Sairaj Pautole straying bowling short paid the ultimate price spanked Again, well played. He adjusted so well there, Atapadu. And you know it's not going to turn. It really doesn't turn that much. Just sliding on. There's no backward point. There's only a slip there, so you know any sort of bat on it. Just play the nice and late again. It's to go past him. Driver, the only danger, man. And then there's a cover, so there's lots of space there for Atapatu, and he's played that shot well. Joe Wardner as well, very good on the late cut. Again! In the air, shouts of catch it. The finger has gone up. Atapatu wasn't happy. Das has taken the catch. Harbhajan Singh has finally got a wicket. You can see Marvin Atapatu there shaking his head. Indians won't mind it. Well, a breakthrough before the new ball. That will absolutely delight uh, Sarav Ganguly. We'll have a look at this one. Hits the pad. It doesn't Ooh. look anywhere oh. near a bat or glove. Das makes good ground. Certainly made the catch. Let's have a look at it from this angle. This will give us a better idea. Ball onto the pad. And then onto the uh, side of the body. Unlucky. Marvin Adipatu has uh, got to go, though. He's been uh, given out by umpire Dave Orchard for 108, 252 for three. So Russell Arnold comes out to the middle. He'll need some runs. He's short of uh, runs in this test series. So he'll feel the pressure. He replaces Marvin Adipatu. And Adipatu will be most disappointed. 
on his career best 123. Harbhajan Singh getting his first wicket. And uh, watch this. How unlucky is that? He has to go though. certainly playing a shot there was a double noise and the reason for that is it hit the pad first and then the top of the thigh pad so there's two noises and that's perhaps why uh, umpire Dave Orchard and shouts of catch it umpire Ahsoka De Silva not interested so obviously that one coming off the pad or thigh pad little shake of the head from Jai Ward now we'll have another look at it those look awfully out just off the pad and that's a very good decision so often you see the front of the bat very close this is what the umpire look how close the bat is to that and it just flicked the pad a little shake of the head from Jai Warden up and there we go I didn't hit it and he was right he didn't that was uh, streakily played We'll get a boundary for it, Russell Arnold. Never in control of the shot. Well, the game's going to go forward. <laughs> Russell Arnold not even looking to play himself in. Look how wide this is. And he's gone after it. Straight through the gap. Sums up the day. He's had a quiet series so far. 20 in goal, 5 and 4 in candy. He's not had the best of luck though. Now that's punched down the ground. Much more in control of that shot. It's racing away. Just pulled back inside the boundary. Well, he's not going to hang around. Streaky four didn't stop him from uh, going at it hard again. Not quite in the direction he wanted to hit it. That's a big heavy bat. He's got enough on it for three. I think he was going offside. He's just uh, collected the inside part of the bat. That one swept away nicely. He's hit that right in the middle of the bat. This is the way he's got to play. Mark Russell Arnold is a decidedly better player when he opens his shoulders. He's got to go after it. He's a good attacking player. I think in Test Match Cricket, if anything, he's been guilty of being just a little bit too, too defensive. You see him play the one-day game, and he plays it superbly. This sort of shot is the hallmark of uh, Russell Arnold. He's got to play that sweep. He's got to go for his cover drives and just get on with it. There we go again. I tell you what, that was a bit flashy. <laughs> that was a bit quick and quite close to off stump. But I think he's obviously in that frame of mind. Got 68, Joe Widener. He's played some good shots. That's a little better. There's no third man, so that's four. All right, if there's no one down there, we could see some runs into that area. This is a better shot from Joe Widener. He didn't try to hit it too hard. Watches the ball all the way into the bat. Plays it late. And a lovely roll of the wrist. Keeping it down along the ground. And off it goes in that wake and third man region. Good shot by Jawadhan on that occasion. So Tony, it would be runs or wickets with this new ball. Yes, it will. I see they're putting a third man down there now. So uh, already the new ball is down to two slips and no gully. So we might just see him before the close of play this evening. He tends to swing the newish ball away a little bit, so it might be worth a try. Oh, that's going to be out. I think there was an inside edge on that one. It went in that direction. It doesn't often uh, go in that direction if it didn't hit the inside edge. However, it may have swung after it pitched. There was definitely a noise. The question is, what was it? Was it pad or was it bad? And what you have to look for is what does the keeper do? So it doesn't figure in the equation at all, but uh, this would be an interesting one. It 
misses the inside edge, takes the flap of the back pad, but uh, the umpire doesn't have to count on that because DG has dropped the ball. Yes, just have a look at this. I, I think this might, yeah, it could have been both. A bit hard to tell from this. Oh, and uh, that's a bit of bat in that one, I think. Yes, there could have been a bit of both. Could have been a little bit of bat and pad. I thought I heard two sounds there. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, so we need to see this at uh, at normal speed to see if we can pick up the uh, the sound. But uh, very close to the bat. This is the last delivery, and uh, that one probably off the inside edge. Yes, off the inside edge, and then uh, squirting off way down the leg side. Oh, he's hit that one beautifully. That's a magnificent shot. Short outside off stump and cut away blissfully through the offside field. Oh, that's a goodie. That's also the end of the over. 291 for three. Yes, uh, this is certainly a beautiful shot. It uh, bounced a bit too, and boy, did he get onto it nicely. Uh, if you can get that uh, sort of shot and get the ball away in front of square, it gives you some idea of how well he's played, how early he's got onto it, and how well he's played the shot. Lovely batting. See, right from the word go, they've uh, got better and better, and this one uh, at the moment not finished. Oh, that's very well fielded. Was that a chance? Did he get a hand on that, uh, or did he hit it into the pitch? I think that might have been a half chance. Those are the sorts of opportunities that, um, well, if they're taken, they can make a difference. Let's see. I think it was in the air. It certainly was. Now then, did he get a hand on it uh, as he dived? Yes, I, I think that, uh, yep, just got a hand on it. Well, that would have been a great catch had it stuck. Oh, he's hit that one well. Beauty! Into the fence it goes. That's the way to play Russell Arnold. This is the way I love watching him bat. Beautiful shot. Absolutely hammered it away. Shot and wide. And look at that for a shot. Put all the power behind that lean frame. Timing just perfect. Freeze enough width to freeze those hands. And gets the placement to go with it. Well played Russell Arnold. Yes, I don't think you want to give him too much room. He likes that cut shot, doesn't he? He's flashed that away. Be a long chase. A couple of runs. Yeah, just going back to your point about hundreds, the only time they've looked like getting under was Ganguly, and then they won the game. He got 98. 300 up, 300 for three. So the crowd really backing up uh, Russell Arnold. They believe that. Uh, He's the one who can really play some flamboyant shorts, really get on with the game, dictate terms to the opposition. On that occasion, really freeing his arms, Russell Arnold, erring in line, the bowler, just finds the gap to perfection. The ball really blitzed away to the boundary. And he's on the hook shot. Beautifully done. 50 partnership. And not really sticking to one thing, trying too many things, striving for extra pace on that occasion. Short, Russell Arnold into position very early. Pivots on that back foot of his, totally in control of the situation, and he's really hooked that in front of square. That tells you the amount of time that he has to play that short. Just murdered that. Blitzed away to the boundary. They're racing along. They scored very quickly, uh, Sri Lanka delighted all their fans played uh, positive cricket right from the word go and that's a cracker don't move anybody flashed off the bat short and wide gave ample opportunity for the batsman to really free his arms time that one sweetly sweet as candy raced away to the boundary That's gone. Snuck it through. Russell Arnold looks at the wicket, but I think he was just a little bit late. Late success for India. Fantastic delivery from Venkatesh Prasad. Really nipped back into Russell Arnold. Surprised him. How quick that is. Short. 
huge, huge gap between bat and pad. Really feet stranded on the crease. Russell Arnold departs for 31. Sri Lanka 310 for four. Philip Linegay, left-handed batsman. He's coming in ahead of uh, Tilaka Ratni and also Samara Wira. I wonder if it's to try and accelerate the scoring. Maybe they've got a little plan in mind to try and get as many ahead tonight. Some inventive stroke play. We won't know that until he actually gets to the crease. He's there because of this bat not coming down straight for Russell Arnold. Over Red Rover. Really foxed him on that occasion. Russell Arnold really playing from the crease on that occasion. A big gap between bat and pad. That's what really did him in. Got to have the bat close to the body. Foot up to the pitch of the ball. That's what really did him in. Back into the action. The man with the golden arm. And a bit of swing. Nicely seen off by Joe Warden. And nicely timed too. All the way. He goes to 90. Well, some poor orchard, he wouldn't be very sympathetic. Although he was a seam bowler in his day, he used to bowl big in swingers. Just like that. Just a deft touch on that occasion. Used the pace of uh, the bowler. Neat roll of the wrist. Away she goes, carrying to the boundary. Non-striker certainly didn't respond. Kanguli needs to seize the initiative over here. He realizes that the batsmen are really playing for the day. They pull the shutters down. It's not the sort of line that you're looking to bowl straying down the leg side. Easy pickings for the Sri Lankans. He's got a predominantly offside feel over there. Three slips in position and a gully. Needs to probe the off stump area, explore the area on and around off stump. Maybe go around the wicket, cramp him for room. Just struggling with the backing up again. We weren't sure which end it was going. Prasad was there, but there was no one behind him. Really is in a dilemma. He's not too sure. He's not picking him up. He's not sure which one's turning and in... awake. Ah! Big shot. And he's given him. The bat was close to the ground as well. But the players around the bat were very confident. Lena Gay's got to go. So late in the day, Habajan strikes again. It's a quicker delivery. Really skidding on. Faster one from Harbhajan Singh. He foxed Lena again that. Certainly was an edge, and the Sardar has finally struck. Leonage departs for three, and the Sri Lankans 321 for five. Hesha and Tilakaratni. What a time to come in. 12 balls remaining. You'd be hoping uh, Mahela takes all of them. Averaging 37, but uh, playing for his career. This is going to be a tough uh, five or ten minutes for him. Really is a pressure cooker scenario for Shantilak Ratne. There's the wicket. Pushed through the air. Played inside the line. Thin edge. Samir Dige is delighted. Certainly will be a boost of confidence to her Bhajan Singh. Up he goes. And he's pulled that in the air. It's going to lob right in the middle of everybody. Well, if one ball can sum up the day for the Indians, this is it. Certainly, fortune favours the brave on that occasion. Into the shot very early. The ball didn't come on. Came slowly, and he just had finished that short. Top edge, falls in no man land. Three men converging. None could get there. And uh, really not the sort of shot. I think he was trying to hit it too hard. He spied the big space in the mid-wicket region and really didn't get onto it. Round the wicket, there's a big appeal. It might have been a double noise. Ganguly is right down at the batsman's end. And there's inquiries all round. Tilikaratan is not interested at all. The Indians are distraught. It might have been a little touch, and then the pad. Round the wicket. Off the thigh pad. Clear. Crystal clear. Look at that. Kanguli. He believes that's out. Big post, small roast. Well, 
Well, is it? Did it carry? That was the thing. It came with the thigh pad, so it didn't really matter. Pressure over and a good one too. 322 for five. Four in, but uh, only for one delivery, which uh, Jai Warden uh, just knocks away comfortably. It was too short. That's the end of the day. 310 runs for Sri Lanka in the day. They were 13 for no wicket. They've progressed to 323 for five. Good batting all round from the Sri Lankans. Uh, not a good day for India. They missed a couple of opportunities early on and were made to pay. Jaya Surya 30, Sangakara 47. They got away, didn't get real big ones. Jai Wardner, terrific young player. Russell Arnold, out of sorts, came in and tried to uh, fly, slog his way out of it. Got to 31. And Lena Gay came in as not watchman and uh, then was out. Here's the partnerships. Atapatu and Jai Wardner, 133. Just the one small partnership. That was Lena Gay and Jai Wardner, only 11. But everything else very healthy for the Sri Lankans. Bowling. Zahir Khan struggled most of the day. Doesn't look fit to me. Prasad standout. Habajan, he tried hard through the day. Got a couple of wickets, one uh, late in the day. Sarah Ganguly bowled as well as anybody, but only seven overs. Bartuli. Perhaps should have bowled a little bit more. And Badani was very respectable as well, but only the four overs.